Hello and welcome again. I am Burak Bate. I am the mediation session supervisor for this session. Um, we are waiting for the participants. Yeah. Yeah. enough to be mediating this session today. So I'd like to invite you before I say anything further to introduce yourselves to each other. Okay, so can we start with the requesting party? Uh, sorry, am I right? Hi, I am Amari Kareem. I am the CEO of Green Global Games. Uh, hi, I'm Arjun and I'm here as counsel for Green Bo Global Games. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Georgie Kowalik and I'm the CEO of Alpha Globe. And you can call me Georgie. Thank you. <coughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, mediator. And uh, I'm Elisa, and I'm here as uh, Georgie's counselor today. Well, thank you all very much. A couple of things from me now by way of introduction. The first thing I want to say to you is, of course, that I have read the papers, so I am aware of some of the issues. And I say some. There will be plenty, I'm sure, that I don't know, so I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Also to say to you um, that having been appointed by the ICC to mediate today, I have no conflict of interest in being the mediator. Can I do one very important thing first, and that's confirm that you each have full authority to reach an agreement here today? I confirm we have full authority. Thank you. And I do too. Great. All right. So a couple of things. As you are well aware, this is a confidential process. And what that means is, what goes on in this room will stay in this room. And if you were not to reach an agreement today, and this matter were to proceed to another forum, then anything said today could not be used as evidence in those proceedings. So I raise that, of course, because we know that that gives you today a very special opportunity to engage together in a commercial discussion, in the confidence that it will stay here. Okay? And so I encourage you to think about your commercial interests today um, and your business realities for yourselves and each other and for things that might, might be important to both of you. Of course, we know that the law sits very much a part of this discussion and we know that we have um, eminent counsel here to remind you of that if, if, if it is needed. So being aware of your legal alternatives is of course a very important part of today too. So I don't want anyone to run away from those, but I think it's always very helpful that we have a commercial discussion. Okay, so I'm going to stop speaking very soon. I'm going to invite you to each make an opening statement. And I would love those opening statements really to be a summary of what has brought you here, okay? The main issues for you and what it might be that you're seeking today as an outcome of this mediation. I'd also then know that you would probably want, next want to do an agenda. So that will be, of course, a collaborative and constructive process, and that's intended to be a framework for our discussion. We will then sit here and explore the issues as you have discussed them, and if there's anything that we need to add to the discussion, I'll be the person that does that. All right, so you also know that you can have caucuses today. So if you want to have a private discussion with me, or indeed you want to have a cross caucus, you know that you can do that, and you have five minutes to do that. You also know that you can take breaks so that you can have private discussions amongst yourselves. Um, and they will be three minutes. So my role, as you know today, is to be the facilitator of this discussion. I can't give you any legal advice, but I can assist you in the process. So I'd encourage you to do that, okay? Ask me to clarify things, ask me to summarize, ask me to help you with some questions if you're struggling. Otherwise, I'm gonna sit here and let you do your thing I'm going to encourage you to have an open and frank discussion with each other. So remember that I'm here, but try not to rely on me too much. All right, so let's just say that the rules of common courtesy will be how we will engage in this discussion and that they will apply. I'm conscious that we have 
a whole lot of cultural backgrounds here. We have different language. Um, I'm also conscious of my own accent and the fact that I might often speak too quickly. So let's just say we'll agree if we're not understanding or if somebody's going too quickly, we'll all, we'll all just start to say that. We'll acknowledge the needs that we might have in relation to communication. One very last thing, I am aware that this is being recorded. So I would like, to, and I understand that the purpose of the recording is for live streaming and that there will be a permanent record of this somewhere on YouTube. So can I confirm that everybody here is comfortable with that recording? Yes. yes. All right. Okay, so let's get started. Could I hear please from the requesting party? I'm going to get my head right this time. <laughs> Sorry, I've been used to the requesters on the left. So. Yes, thank you so much, Catherine. I feel so confident after that beautiful summary, knowing that this process is going to be confidential. fills me with so much confidence here today. Georgie, you know, you and I, we're really the same person. We both believe in the same things. Lately, Alpha Globe has been committing itself to climate saving technology and sustainable digitalization. And at Green Global Games, that's all we do. We are a sustainable software technologies company and we're truly committed to the cause. So, you know what, I've been a techie for 15 years before I started the startup. And software, I have realized, is like life. It's complex, it's anything can happen. And quite like COVID, you know, where the healthiest of us will unfortunately lost to that disease, while some of us really made it through multiple times even, software too, you know, you never know what happens. It can, the strongest of products can be overcome by the smallest of bugs, but it's quite routine in the world of software. I mean, your iPhones can have bugs. It's, it's quite routine. But what has happened here with happy earth, happy humankind, and if I may go back in time a little bit, I was so delighted when you came to us with that idea. I was so happy to know that someone's going for this game that's portable, you can play it on your smartphone, your tablet, and you're actually influencing real life behaviors with that. That's not just a business model, that's social impact. And I was so excited that you chose us, a young, fresh startup, to associate with an established organization like yourself. Well you've been in the market for 30 years and you've led it so well i was really really excited so i put in all my best engineers all my good hands they were committed to making this the best product possible and well we did deliver right uh the original product that i gave you and i'm convinced about this was flawless it was unblemished there was nothing wrong with it but unfortunately, a month into the release, there were a few bugs that were reported in the media and because the game was intended to have such an impact, the negative criticism was also unfortunately widespread and it, that did have an impact on the reputation of the game, the consumers started complaining. Well, we know that. But today, what is important for me is not to understand whys and hows and whos I don't think that's necessary here today. We're not here for a blame game. We're not here to point fingers. We're here to find out what exactly is going on so that we can fix it. I'm here with that intention. I'm here with that mindset to collaborate. You know, I have a solution and I'm eager to solve it, not just with the bug, but also with the negative publicity around us because it is affecting the both of us. Let's be honest, you're the established organization here. I'm just supporting you. Your reputation is my reputation. Your success is my success. So I'm here to collaborate with you. I'm here to support you. I'm here to do whatever you want me and for the benefit of both of us to make sure that we can perhaps take happy, uh, happy earth and happy humankind to greater heights, in fact. And in fact, before any of this happened, I did have this amazing idea, which I was meaning to talk to you about, but perhaps now that we're here, we can do it later in the course of the session. But I think uh, I'll stop talking now and I'll let my counsel come in and la tie in the loose ends that I left. Um, of course, Amari. Um, firstly, thank you for agreeing to this mediation. We understand that this is a legal requirement, but at the same time, even if that is the case, we really promote and endorse the collaborative um, 
table that we are on right now. And uh, we hope this is reciprocated on your end as well, whereby we can walk away from this table with hopefully solutions that benefit the both of us. Um, if I may just use a slight metaphor, um, I have been an avid player of Happy Earth, Happy Humankind since the very first day it came out. And even though the single player experience is fun, for me the star of the entire show is the multiplayer experience where we can we, we get to be synergetic with teammates across the world, if not, if not within family members, of course. I hope this is something that we can apply here as well, where in a synergetic way, we can come up with solutions that benefit not only, of course, Green Global Games and Omari, but also you, um, Georgie, and Alpha Glob uh, as such. Um, I always It's always a pleasure being the counsel for uh, Amari because she does such an eloquent job explaining the situation, which is why if I could just briefly suggest the agenda, Catherine, that brings us to this table here today, I believe there are four primary concerns that um, we wish to discuss. The first is, of course, the solutions for the bug itself that faces the game right now. Um, the second are the publicity concerns surrounding, because, um, surrounding the present situation since this has reached the general media and even the coverage of the game before it was released was quite widespread. Um, the third are the pending costs involved because uh, we did complete our obligations under contract and uh, we are owed 70,000 Kuno pesos as of now. And uh, the fourth, which is something that is more of a long-term uh, long term agenda, is possibly future collaboration because all of us have the same goals here, either in the short term, getting this game to its best possible uh, pedestal, and in the long term, which is to save the environment and act sustainably. Thank you. I'll get to the responding Thank you. As I previously mentioned, I'm the CEO of AlphaGlobe a company which is established in Kunaland and has been working on the game industry for about 30 years now, providing all its customers with uh, products which have like a high quality and you know also exciting and efficient uses. And, but what happened is that a few years ago we decided we were really interested into promoting uh, um, the developing of, uh, uh, um, of sustainable uh, technologies and products. And this is the reason why we decided to create the, the, the game that we're here to talk about, uh, Happy Heart, Happy Humankind. So I feel honored that you're here today uh, with such an open mindset and you said that we are the same person. Well, I really appreciate the fact that you're here today and you recognize that we have some really, some common grounds. When we came, it came to choose a business partner, we thought about you and we saw in you the ideal uh, business partner. And that's because you had this AI expertise, but not only. In fact, what is more, you had this view about sustainability which actually matches ours. So I feel here we have some really some common grounds together we can work with. It's really good to hear from you, Amari, that you're actually that one of your of your main goal during the business is to work with the utmost care and diligence. And I feel you when you say that, uh, when you say, and I imagine it's true, that I understand your effort and your concerns, because 30 years ago, I was exactly where you, where you are right now. So I appreciate you being transparent and clear. So, however, I want to make clear today that even though we know that there are some disputes outside this room, I'm here today with an open mind, and, and as the mediator has said, and as uh, Elisa explained me before the council, before this meeting, uh, mediation, it's all about uh, being transparent and being collaborative. And I really appreciate and value the fact that both you, Amari, and your counselor uh, has repeatedly said that. The current situation, however, left me devastated for some various reasons. First of all, the funds that we receive from Kunla Ministry of the Environment really pushed us continuously to work even harder. So imagine how frustrated I was 
when I received the information, a letter coming from the ministry saying that he had lost, the, he was disappointed in us because of the bad publicity that we'd received and because of the disastrous uh, public uh, relations. So my lawyer, Elisa, is going to, is going to uh, talk more about this in order to guide you uh, during, um, among my interests. But I want to stress that the last thing that I know right now is to lose the founding and what is even more, to lo it's even worse, to lose the trust of the ministry. Secondly, what happened that really affected me is the fact that making the user experience an incredible one has always been my main concern. So we have managed to build this reputation and we based every reputation to the fact that we were caring about our customers. So we want to pursue that and to rebuild our reputation. So up to this moment, AG was the company that bared all the, uh, the, the major burden for what concerns the bad publicity. Even though you know that we created this game together, we released them together. Believe me when I say that I really hope that from this controversy none of our company would be damaged because I really believe that you can, be, uh, you can benefit from the publicity and the visibility that a company like AG could give you with its 30 years of expertise and AG at the same time can preserve its already consolidated uh, uh, image. The third issue that really affected me is the fact that the financial situation that the error in the software caused is worsening every day because of the fact that our customers are asking us for refunds. And I know that we are the big fish at the table today, but however, I hope you understand that money and profit are a concern for us as well. Finally, this issue is jeopardizing our plan to submit the game to the first ever United World uh, Global Sustainability Competition, which will take place later on this year. So, Amari, I think you understand that, our, that it's crucial for, now, for us right now to understand what happened and the cause of the error. But as you said, it's, we, we do not want to adopt only a forward-looking approach, but we want to look to the future. And so we want to understand how to fix it and as soon as possible. I really hope you can put yourself in my shoes, as I promise I will do with you. And as you said, we don't, we're not here to blame ourselves. I like the fact you said we're not playing a blame game. But I, I want to uh, share the light on what happened. And please, let's do it together. Since I know that a lot of information has been shared, I ask Elisa, please, to sum up my interests and my expectations. Of course, Anne. Of course, Jerry. Good afternoon, Amai. Good afternoon, Arjun. And good afternoon, Kendrick. Catherine. Sorry. I'm really glad to be sitting here this afternoon with all of you. When Georgie initially heard about the mediation request on your side, she was surprised. But since in my career I had many mediations until this point, I have encouraged her to come here with an open mind and trying to have a sincere attempt today. Because I believe that this could be a good opportunity for both of your companies to re-engage in terms that, that can be mutually beneficial for both of you. I totally agree with Arjun when he says that this could be a synergy. We know that the alternative to today's discussion is litigation. And this is not the path that we want to follow today, of course. We are here to discuss with you. But we have to keep in mind that the possibility is out there. However, I'm here today not to focus on legal claims, but uh, 
here to advocate for Georgia's and Alpha Global interests. And also, I hope to make sure that everyone is comfortable at this table. As councillor, you have uh, partially already heard it from Georgie. My biggest concern as of right now is this letter that uh, Alpha Global received from Kunoland Ministry of Environment. In this letter, the minister, the ministry, that is one of the main investors for Alpha Global, demanded explanation for what happened. And it threatened my client's company of shooing, asking the 200,000 Kuna pesos that were invested into Alpha Global projects. So, as Georgie said, we are not here to blame each other, but I kindly ask you to understand that this is the background we are coming from. Explanations are asked to us and the relationship with the Ministry is fundamental for Alpha Global. As Georgia and I see this issue, there is a complex set of unknowns that still that are there. So we believe that transparency is absolutely necessary today. And we're here to do that with you. What Georgie would like to understand moving forward, uh, since given your artificial intelligence expertise that Alpha Global does not have as you have, it's if you have uh, any information about the origins of this um, problem, this bug that arose, and if you have investigated in this. At the same time, uh, it is important to solve the issue, as you said. And it is also an interest for, of Alpha Globe to understand how much eventually this would cost. The issue is difficult. There are technicalities as well as legal positions, but we want to put every, everything of this aside. Because um, we would like to focus on the mutual concerns that are here. I would just then like to sum up what are uh, the interests of Georgie at this table, because I believe this could benefit everyone here. Um, so first of all, the mutual interest is to, is to resolve the issue for both of the companies and to do it as soon as possible. Secondly, it is important for Alpha Global to restore its reputation. And I think that Georgie and I are really glad to hear that you have some proposals in mind uh, so we are really glad to hear from you in this matter. Also because reputation is one of the main reasons why Alpha Global initially had a relationship with the Ministry, a relationship that is deeply valued as I think I have understood. As a company, Alpha Global is also interested in protecting its financials so avoiding the losses that the refund requests coming from customers and users are coming. And this leads us to a fourth interest that is actually to have compensation, both from the economical losses and the reputational ones. But I'm sure we can work together here. Finally, the general interest is for the company to continue committi committing in sustainability and developing gains about fighting climate change. And this is one of the main reasons why Alpha Global wants to participate in this convention at the end of the year. I know this has been a lot of information, so if you have any clarification you want to ask us, please, we are here. And to conclude, I have understood that you um, set it up some points of the agenda, and uh, I think that is very good because uh, we want to talk about the solution as well. We want to talk about, you said publicity, we call it reputation, but I think that it's the Think same it. in the core. Um, moreover, you said you want to talk about costs and future collaboration. I think we can agree on this. Uh, another point uh, important for us uh, is to talk about what happened. So thank you.
for listening and I'll leave the floor to the mediator. Thank you. Thank you all very much for those um, very informative openings. I want us to do this now. Let's, it sounds to me that there's quite a strong consensus in relation to the agenda. So why don't we have um, a few moments just agreeing what might need to go up here. I'm going to just use my sheet of paper first before yeah. I jump up. So I have heard, just by way of leading the first bit, um, I have heard that you do want to revisit the past just a little because you want to examine the bug and I heard you both say that you want to understand maybe what caused it, what happened, so therefore you could start discussing what a solution might be. Is that right? Is that something, yes. a place where there's something there? Okay, let's put that up. Are you feeling yeah. So you want to talk about... I'm just going to put that in, in relation to the past. We want to talk about the bug. What, what caused it? <coughs> and fixing it. Yeah? So yes, that sounds that's good. That's one of the things. I also heard you, you, you say to me now, what else? Um. So I believe that, sorry, I believe that uh, um, he, um, I believe that uh, Amari and Arjan wanted to talk uh, about publicity as well. This is an interest for us too, to talk about reputation and we would really like to hear their proposal about it. Okay, so if I capture that as reputation, are you both, are yes. you both happy, happy with that? Great. What next? Mm -hmm. um, we mentioned pending costs, they mentioned finances, so I believe a neutral term to encapsulate that would um, Costs, if that's perfectly okay, Are you okay with you. With your charging costs? Yeah, may I know a bit more? What do you mean about cost? Are those linked to the past or to the fixing it? Um, um, I think it is. Um, I think we can broadly consider all money matters to come in there, which would include pending payments, any other claims, general money claims. How does that sound? However, if so, Catherine, you wish to bifurcate and create another branch. I believe we can discuss the past, which is the 70,000 tuna pesos, as well as any future collaboration and costs for fixing the, and finding solutions that might be needed. So uh, maybe I was uh, hearing from Georgie that at this point, maybe she would like to put this point of the agenda before the reputation. Maybe since it's linked uh, partly to the past, as you said, uh, the, pr the previous contract and partly maybe, partly maybe to future costs, we can link these two points. What do you think about it? Can I make a suggestion here? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Let, let us just get the ideas. Yes. Let's okay. get the themes up, okay. and then we can talk about where we go. Okay. Because sure. Perfect. My experience of these agendas is that they're very organic. The discussion will develop. We will hop around. Yes. Yeah. Let's make sure we capture it properly. Yes. One of the things, we don't want to spend too much time. We, we know we're, we're going to talk about the money. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. So we've got to talk about the financial impact that of this dispute. Good. So how does that sound? There's a number of head subheadings within that. I, I've heard you both talk about financial loss in the past. I've heard, I've heard the word compensation come up. So we've got a bit of future, past and future. Um, and I've heard you talk about some ongoing costs that you currently have. So is that going to be no enough? I think that would work for us. We can discuss it once we get there. Are you happy with that? Okay. Yes, I'm happy. I think uh, eventually uh, we're gonna talk maybe about financial aspect, also in the fix it, how to solve the problem yes. probably. But financial aspect uh, impact. I'm sorry. That sounds great. good. Okay. Um, and there were a couple of other things that I heard, but this is for you to to bring together. What else would you like to talk future about? collaborations? Yeah, um, we believe any future way forward together as a company, as two companies, I apologize, would be a next, would be the next point to discuss. Future collaboration. Yeah. That would be good for us. Okay. Was there anything else? I don't think so. Do you agree with these points? Of yes, the we're happy with this. All right. Well, that, yeah. Okay. So that's a start. Thank you. We can add to it, or we can take away from it. Sure. It's flexible. Okay. All right. So the next question is, where would you like to go first? I think let's talk a little bit about what, have a general discussion before we hop onto the agenda. I would like to ask a few questions and get some clarity before we, you know, how does that sound? 
that's sure. so georgie you did mention the ministry being a little curious about what happened and i think that's all of us at this point but i would like to understand what exactly was the letter that eliza mentioned that the ministry sent to you and what are their expectations out of you so i received this letter which was saying basically we, what uh, eliza already said and please correct me that um, they were they, they wanted to have the, the repayment back the investment that was initially done in case uh, we were not able to solve the bad publicity issue. Am I right? Do you think yeah. I should have, I should have something more? I think it's right uh, um, to be more precise, not to <laughs> offense, uh, to be more <coughs> precise on the legal matters. It was an explicit demand from the Ministry uh, of Explanations. Um, you have to understand that uh, the game was spread in schools too. So it had a huge spread worldwide, not only in, our, in Georgia's country. And uh, it's right that, as Georgie said, there was a demand of money to give back. It was more of a threat. They were saying, if you do not explain to us what the causes are, we're going to we're gonna bring on litigations in order to ask the refund, the investment that they made back. And uh, it is a 200,000 kuna pesos investment. I already said that, but I would just like to point out because it's a huge sum of money. I understand, thank you so much for that. So um, as I hear from you, and firstly, I'm so sorry that you're devastated about this. I think I somehow echo that sentiment because our first venture, you know, with a company to have it be like this is a little disheartening for both of us. So I feel you, I hear you and I echo that sentiment. But I think I would like to understand a little bit about the issue itself. So as far as I understand, the comments and the criticism started surfacing somewhere around the mid of December. Yes, I want to know when was the first time you became aware that there's an issue? Because that's when the public got to know. But when did the company Alpha Globe get to know about these problems? So we don't have any specific information about uh, when the technician, the IT department discovered this issue. So it was around the same period that the news around the news spread. I understand. So I would say mid December, as I said. I understand. So have you at your end discovered anything, something perhaps wrong with the central server? Because when I delivered the game to Alpha Glob, mm -hmm. it did not have any of the problems that it currently has. So clearly something happened after we delivered the product. So in the spirit of understanding what happened, would you have any information that would perhaps point us to what happened? So. I would like at this moment, thank you for the question, I would like at this moment maybe ask the mediator and also point out to you two the fact that um, I will answer this question, but if I may before, I would like to reply with some question as well, since uh, you, are the, um, you are the experts of the uh, artificial intelligence uh, area. So we would like to go first, be sure that we're going to answer all your questions and if it's not a problem i would like to pose to you some and um, what do you think elisa would yeah. that work the, I, th I think it's fine usually in mediation i wouldn't suggest you to do not answer questions but at the same time given the expertise that they have in the technological field um, i understand george's concern in before trying to understand why they're saying that the product was perfect uh, before releasing it and behind that and then uh, I think she can answer your question as well. She, uh, what Georgie I believe wants to say is that she doesn't want to mistake in anything given that there's not the same uh, expertise, the technological expertise on the on the software from the both sides. Sure, we would love to hear so your questions. Yeah. So Mr. Mediator eventually if yeah. you okay. see that uh, uh, we are forgetting to answer the recording. Okay, so you'd like to ask some questions at the yeah. moment because you think that's going to be a bridge to some understanding yes. that you and you've got agreement. So why don't we just be less formal and get into it? <laughs> okay. Okay. So, do you have 
uh, since you're the experts here, do you have any info specific information about the causes of the malfunctioning that may be coming from, I don't know, the software? So, like I said, the way the contract was designed was that you listed out the design, the look, the feel, and all we were there was to execute it. You wanted the optional facial recognition feature and we put it exactly how you wanted it. So far, I have had a team investigating it and we have had no real cause that we could identify. So to answer your question, I do not know. Okay. It came later. Thank you. And so given your expertise, and I don't want to repeat myself, it's just to be really sure because I don't have the knowledge to do that. But do you think there are some other causes that may have, that, that may have caused this damage? So there's nothing concrete with us right now. We do not have anything that would specifically point to this. So to answer your question, no. Narjun, would you like to add on to this? Um, additionally, as I'm sorry, I'm not a technical person. I'm more <laughs> of a law person. Um, but software is quite expansive and it would not be possible in such a short time to identify the specific causes this soon. Um, at the same time, of course, we heard how the situation is with the Ministry of Environment. And as a lawyer, I believe I'm the best suited to understand how tough bureaucracy can be. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, while there may not be a specific identification of what the cause or the source of the problem would be, um, the team at GGG has identified ways to placate the problem and move forward immediately, making sure that the game going ahead is running flawlessly along with the optional feature of face recognition. I really appreciate that because uh, that would be also an interest of mine going on with the probably the second point how to fix it. Uh, just I just wanted to know if since you are a startup, uh, uh, do you know how the software works and who takes care of it? Maybe we're just trying to have a big picture here of what really is your job and how your factory works. I did not understand the question. Could you clarify the yeah, scope sure. of that question? Yeah, sure. Uh, so I just wanted to know if you have any additional information on how the process of uh, um, creating the software itself works uh, and if you have some specific, I don't know, engineer, engineers or other uh, professionals that take, take care of it. So the way it works is that you, the client, tells us exactly what they want we create it for you and we deliver it to you. You, at your end, the game is played and from our end, we just make sure that the software updates keep going on. So it's a value chain. Okay, yes. thank you. Thank you, this way. Additionally, if I could just bring board off of that. As I understand, the GGG is merely responsible for creating the software. The game runs off of central servers that are under your control which is why the question that was asked earlier by Amari is something that is necessary to understand where the problem or the source of the problem actually lies. Okay, I see. So, Ms. Buzz, you did have a question yes. at the beginning. Yes. So let's not lose that. Would you like yes. to go back to it? Yes, like my counsel just pointed out, we've circled back to it quite naturally. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I think this is the perfect opportunity. Yeah. Um, before answering your sorry. Before answering your question, uh, we would like to ask the mediator of Caucus, if it's possible. You'd like to have one now? Yeah. All right then, could I call on our session supervisor? We're going to have five minutes in Caucus. Yep. And will you give us a one minute warning? Yes. I'll let you know when there is one minute for me. Thank you. Okay, so this is confidential. Is the door closed? Is the door closed? Oh, it is. Thank it you. is. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so this is confidential. How can I help? What's brought you to this caucus? So they're rightfully asking about the server. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wanted to share with you the fact that um, a few days ago, so after them contacting us uh, um, for the central from their central server, my IT uh, team told me that uh, an attack, a, a hacker attack, uh, then was, was brought against my servers. Okay. So I'm not sure 
we have no certainty that this could have uh, uh, influenced the software itself. So we have no certainty that this was actually the reason why this bug, uh, this bug occurred. The problem here is that I am allowed to share this information only when uh, I am sure that nothing uh, wrong happened with their company. So I have to wait before disclosing this information, if, if that is clear to you. I, I think I understand what you're okay. saying. I think you've, you're telling me that you have um, received information that your server was hacked. Yes. You don't know if that hacking has actually caused the malfunction. Exactly. Well, my words, exactly. not yours. Um, and I think you're concerned about when you might reveal that yep. at the mediation. And I think that you're concerned that you don't want to do that too soon. Yeah, so because I'm, um, I'm bound not to. Who's binding you? Uh, the information and the company told me not to disclose this information um, <coughs> before I'm really sure that nothing from their side that be uh, occurred. That's because uh, in case it, would, it was their fault, uh, I have certainty that uh, the hacker attack uh, was not the thing that influenced uh, the bug in the software. So I was wondering maybe if you could help me deliver this information to them and maybe uh, understand whether there is something more uh, related to the, the way in which their server works. And if so if, okay. um, go sorry. If I may suggest maybe um, they have already answered many times to different questions related to what happened and they stated that they don't know. Uh, maybe if the question would be made from you one last time, we could have the certainty that nothing really happened and this could help us deliver this, in this delicate information. What do you think about it? Well, that's a strategy. That's something that I could do, but you could do it too. So I just wanted you to think yeah. about that. You could go back and say that you want to be um, satisfied for once and for all, and you appreciate you've asked it a few times, but you just need to hear it again. One of the things I'd like to ask you though, I've heard that trust is important. Yeah. yeah. And I've also heard, you've heard you both say that, and it's obviously linked to your future relationship. Yeah. And I've also heard you um, both say that you don't want to be engaging in a blame game. Yeah, today. exactly. So I wonder when you say when you said earlier that you don't you know you don't want to reveal this information too early because um, you're concerned that it might have been their fault. I think that was a word to use. So I'm I'm just asking you to think about the value of maybe putting it out there. Mm -hmm. If you're here at mediation and you're saying one thing, often parties to build trust and to keep the conversation going productively, often parties have to think about, if we say one thing, are we doing it? Yeah. So that's a matter for you, but that's a question that I think you might want to ask of yourselves. Thank you for your suggestion, I think it was valuable. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe, Georgie, if you agree, we can say, as the, we, we can do as the mediator suggested. We can ask them one last time and then deliver this information in order to build trust. Okay. Okay, so that's over Thank to you. Thank you for your help. Yeah, that's over to you and you're going to do that for yourselves. Thank you. You've got one minute to go. Oh. Is there anything else um, while we're here? I think this was my main concern. Mm -hmm. I asked some additional questions uh, um, because I was concerned maybe that um, something in the process went, went wrong or that um, potentially uh, some, some other employees uh, when doing the work, which was not proper, properly done, but since I feel they're sincere, um, I, I think that I will go with your suggestion and also what my counsel has suggested, and uh, I will probably try to uh, talk with them too. Mm. Well, perhaps when you ask the question, you can, you know, you can spe specify some of those little doubts and niggles that you had. You've just named a few. That's entirely a matter for you, but it's yeah. one of the things that you could do. If you want to be specific, why not use the opportunity? You're here today to yeah. do that. I think, yeah? uh, that's, I think that's true. It would be helpful. Also because we both, Arjan and I, all, both talked about transparency. So I think this could help. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so you know what you're doing. Yeah. Okay.
thank you for having waited. So, uh, I really appreciate the fact that you waited until this moment for outside and also for my response to the question. So, I want to explain why I waited. So, uh, the reason why I waited is because I really needed to understand what happened in the past and uh, I just uh, wanted to be really sure that there was no, there were no problems uh, with the process and no problem with maybe some additional employees doing their job not in the proper way, which are we all know there are some causes that may happen actually in the um, in, in big companies. So um, you asked me before um, what happened with the central server, and we have no specific. Uh, um, no, no specific information about anything wrong that happened with the central server itself. Is, do, does this uh, reply your first question? Yeah, if okay. I may. Yeah, go ahead and then I'm going to complete. The choice of your words just make me kind of curious. Yeah. You say specific, you say itself. So can I get a sense of whether there's something going on yes, around sure. I use those words yes. because of that. So um, just two days ago, um, I had the information from the IT, um, the t the t team of my company that uh, a, a hacker attack was brought against the servers. We have no information about the fact that this was actually the cause that affected the bug, and uh, we have no certainty about it. So please feel free to ask more questions, but this is actually what I can tell you right now. The only thing that I know, as since I've been sincere, and I've also, and I've been sincere because I've heard that you have replied uh, to many questions uh, saying that it was not actually your fault. I um, just wanted to understand if you have potentially any additional information to share and I don't know, also how you feel about this information that I shared with you. Well, uh, a hacker attack, that's interesting. But uh, if I hear you correctly, you say that you're not sure that that is the reason. Yes. And you just suspect that is one. All right, well, that, that sort of leaves us in a position where we're still wondering, but we still don't have any answers, but we still sort of have something to work around with. Well, no worries. Like I said before, we're not here to point fingers, we're here to find a solution. So can I ask you something else? Please. Uh, have you done something about the hacker attack? Have you worked on the security measures? Or is that something that still remains unresolved in your system? So it appears to us right now that there's no additional uh, issues that will, that will be caused to the, in the future. Uh, because of this hacker attack. But really, what we know is just that this happened and this may have succeeded and uh, this may have caused, but we have no certainty uh, about the, the bug itself. Um, okay, so as I understand, but have you uh, built any firewalls or strengthened your security to prevent this in the future or are we still working around that? Um, this information came just two days ago, so there was no time to do anything of that. Of all that, uh, it's brand new for Georgie too, um, and uh, I think she wanted to tell you about it just to build trust uh, for the future. Um, I see. Maybe do you have other <coughs> questions you want to ask us? Um. No questions per se, but um, if I may suggest something. <coughs> yeah. um, firstly, of course, thank you, Catherine, for your suggestion of organically jumping between the agenda very clearly that is moving this forward. Um, but the reason that the fact that this was only a two-day-old attack <coughs> and uh, you very clearly have not thought of any firewalls in place uh, perks up my ears is because just a week ago, Amari was jumping up and down about new security measures that were being devised by GGG. Uh, which I believe can feature into the future collaboration part. Um, and if it is okay with you, we can move ahead and understand the situation and try to possibly find solutions to our current scenario. I really appreciate that because that would have been a question of mine going on. 
because uh, since I value your expertise and your talent, um, I would have liked to know if you're able to eventually also prepare something like uh, such a security. <coughs> and um, if you're if you're ready as well, I think that I will be willing to talk about how we can fix this problem. Okay. Oh. Yes. Sorry. Yeah, please. if I may. Um, I think that we have at this point maybe a joint acknowledgement that we cannot uh, understand now because it's of this issue. Uh, maybe our both IT departments can work later in the next weeks and days to figure this out because it, it still is uh, George's interest to have an answer for the ministry. We don't, we don't want an answer today, but time is a bit of the essence here as well. Uh, that said, uh, I think these are exciting news and uh, maybe I would ask the mediator to, I don't know, put a check <laughs> on the point of the agenda so can we can move on. Okay, so I'm sorry. sorry, did you want to, okay, just before you do that, yeah. we'll do that. When you say you'd like me to put a check on the point of the agenda. Because um, we have discussed it today, it's still needed okay, to be discussed in okay. the future. All right, so I've just made, it, made a note here, I haven't mm -hmm. put it on the Perfect. agenda, that you've talked about um, in terms of supporting a future collaboration, that you will both commit to investigating security um, and, and, yes. and that you will jointly collaborate in terms of sharing I, your, um, resources from your individual IT department. Sure. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Now, if I may, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but you know, I'm an engineer, I'm a problem solver, and when I get to talk about <laughs> solutions, I get a bit excited. But yes, about solutions. Well, I am so happy to tell you that my little team, you know, we're a startup, we're so close knit, and we're always involved in what everyone's doing, and they actually have a solution for us, and we can actually roll it down on the 15th of February, right? We, like just the next update, that's when the next update is due and we can actually fix it. It's gonna cost a bit of money. We have to look at the servers and you know, we can't give you a quote right now because we'll have to look at the servers and figure out the security issues. So perhaps we can discuss that later in a session where both our IT teams can perhaps sit in and see what's happening. But yes, I'm so happy to tell you and I'm so happy that you can tell this to your ministry that we can fix this very, very soon. In fact, well, what's the date today, Arjun? Um, I'm blanking out on that. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I think it's uh, but it will be useful. I'm sure your social media team will have a yeah. field day on <laughs> Valentine's Day itself. Yes. Uh, um, yes, we have a little yeah. surprise for Valentine's Day. Okay. So yes, on 15th of February, we'll be, we'll be able to roll down that update so you can uh, have a fun day there. We can discuss the cost later, but yes, coming down to the more serious discussion, Mehreen, uh, Amari, <laughs> calm down. Future collaborations. I hear you mention United Worlds, the convention, and I hear you want to be a part of it, and this, this little debacle made it a little difficult, but I have news for you there as well. Well, my engineers, I'm so proud of them, I keep mentioning them over and over again, but they have come up with this amazing idea where they are willing to put these enhancements in our game in happy earth happy humankind to make it the most energy efficient game of the world that we've ever known so that's super exciting for me and well it has this feature where the player can actually track the their energy usage at a given time and it's it's very exciting. In fact, it almost sounds like science fiction to me, even to me. So, so yes, that is something that we can work on for the United Worlds Convention. How does okay. that sound to you? So, thank you for sharing all these information. I think I appreciate the fact that at the beginning you talk about how to fix it, and uh, I know that then you pass to the future collaboration. Maybe if it's possible, I would return to the sure. fix it point. Uh, and I would like to ask you if you have any additional information. If I'm understanding correctly, correct um, you're going to deliver this new product, this new software, uh, in order to solve the problem with the facial recognition. Is it right? 
Um, yeah, uh, as I understand from as much um, as much as I could discuss with the engineers, um, there could be the solution that would be rolled out on the 15th of February would not only include the problem surrounding the facial recognition, but at the same time it would also include security fixes <laughs> to make sure that the server is protected from any future breaches. Okay, that, so it's multifaceted, the benefit yes. of this intervention on the, on the 15th. Okay. Yes. So it's facial recognition and security. So essentially, it'll prevent any such error for, from coming in the future, at least anything that we can foresee. And the fun part is we don't have to put in any effort. Every month, we do roll out a software update for all our apply, uh, applications. And this is just a part of it. So it's just the regular, the user just has to go to the app store, okay. say update, and voila, it's done. So it's really interesting, but, um, and I'm excited as you are, but as you imagine, I also uh, I'm gonna report to the board, and I have to have some numbers, maybe some specific, more serious. And so I wanted to know if you uh, I think you don't have any. Um, I'm just asking you if you have any explanation on how uh, your team of engineers is going to proceed, or at least uh, if you're willing to uh, allow probably a trial period in order to understand if everything is working. Um, properly. I don't think that would be an issue. We can do it like right after this meeting. I'll just give them a call. Give and them a call. Can, yes. I think that's good news. Uh, and sorry if I jump in, but as a lawyer, I think that also I have to keep an eye on guarantees. Um, so if the trial can be something to f that is doable, I think it's great. And eventually, Arjan, if this thing goes on later, uh, we can maybe discuss about legal guarantees if this software works properly or it doesn't work properly in order to uh, make a future collaboration that it doesn't lead to what happened until now. So maybe this is something we, we can discuss later. Sure, Elisa, I'm very confident in what GGG has done, what Amari has done. And I don't see the possibility of something like that happening in the future. However, this is software we are dealing with. And it is much broader than what our scope of studying law can make us understand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which is why something like the term guarantee is a word that scares the lawyer in me. Uh, however, of course, I also have to look after the reputation of my client here. However, we can give assurances that aren't as heavily worded as guarantees because we are in this together. It is our software and your product and we want to give the best to the world. It's a legal document. You all work it out. <laughs> We're going to discuss it more. So I've been grouping and taking note here of what it seems to be. You've got a bit of a rolling agreement here in relation to this. I'm just mindful that what isn't clear is the cost. Yes. Okay, that remains yes. unclear at this point. Right. Okay, so should we just refer back to the agenda just for a moment yes. and have a sense of, like regroup on where you are? So we seem to have talked around the past, um, the bug, what, what happened and what might be a fix. We've got some, and then we've skipped down a bit to the future collaborations and talked quite a bit about a few areas that can be improved there. Do you want to move into the money at this point, or would you like to talk about reputation? So, if you don't mind this, since I did bring up the future collaborations, I would like to hear your thoughts on it before we quote it. How does that sound to everyone? Oh, over to you. So, yeah, um, I'm definitely interested in the in the future collaboration. I just wanted to say that uh, Catherine has just said that uh, we need to talk about, co we haven't talked about uh, cost. And uh, as I said before, I need to report to the board. And so maybe before going on to the future, and I don't want to be too focused on business stuff, but it's also what I'm here to do here. So uh, I wanted to ask you if you know um, the cost uh, the uh, um, the cost. How much would it cost for us, for us, and for you to uh, develop this and improve this software? So, like I mentioned earlier, we will have to figure out the cost once we look at your server. You know, the method of delivery, because you understand that we will have to look at the bug and how it affected. But uh, we don't think it will cost you a big bunch. And you know what? Since uh, we don't know the cause and we're beyond that, I think we'll be able to contribute to fixing it. So I don't think that should be 
much of an issue and i think we can table that for now because i will need the support of my it my engineers and my board to finally figure out and i think we will have to engage with your it team too to understand how the delivery model works but arjun can you help me explain this a little better here of course an estimate we can probably round up right after the meeting and hand it over but since we are at the point of finances and costs um i do have to bring up the pending contract payments the contractual payments that are still in the pipeline which is the 70000 kuna pesos would would we be able to get a timeline on when we'll be receiving the money because the installment was due in mid december okay so yeah sure i i appreciate you saying if i'm understanding correctly uh it's not something that you actually are really sure about right yes. now so i think we can discuss it maybe later on yes thank you and for what concerns uh, the cost so since uh, i was said here we're not like really sure of about uh, what happened uh we were wondering whether we could find a more um a more creative solution so um of of course also discussing about money because we understand that also as a startup you probably would need some as every company would need some money as well <laughs> and so we were wondering whether we can split eventually as you said the reparation cost uh, but this is going to be discussed and then we're going to pay you the uh, 70 70 70k credits if i'm understanding correctly from what we discussed uh, with the board i i think that what georgi is trying to um tell you is that since we uh are we put aside the causes of this uh malfunctioning and of the bug um and answering your question about the 70 the 70000 kp that are owned by alpha global to your company um what we thought about is that we could pay off of the money right now so 35000 kp and uh, the other half uh, after the trial of the uh, software of this solution you have talked about uh, is completely is completed um that this would also work uh, as uh, a guarantee as i was saying before <laughs> i know it's a scary word <laughs> uh what do you think about what does this feel for you so you know like you said earlier every company needs some money and we are a startup but for me from the very first day the startup was about good relationships and good work so while yes money is a concern i am more concerned and focused about how we preserve this relationship right so sure we can look at the numbers mm -hmm. and arjun can talk about the numbers after i finish but i'm more interested in sort of investigating the word reparations that you use i think that that was the word and what exactly you meant by that um i think that for uh, uh reparation probably it was i'm sorry english is not my first language so probably it was uh, um a word that i i used wrong okay okay but uh, i meant the fact that uh, you're going to fix in the the issue as you oh. the fashion recognition recognition issue as you said before Ah of course just well, to be yes clear. So I'm sorry so for the mistake yeah. <laughs> so the repairs so to speak yes. the repairs, repairs exactly yes oh absolutely that's that that put, relieves me a bit so yeah what do you think about the numbers here I think the 35k up front and the 35000 afterwards is a reasonable solution yeah and that would work um but again the focus for us right now is to make sure that the update is rolled out as soon as possible and depending on the costs for the the repairs themselves we can also maybe see if some of these costs could be offset where yeah. you could end up not paying us or we could end up getting less money from you just to ensure that the costs are split and we can come up with a solution at the quickest i think that sounds absolutely great and i'm really glad uh, about your ideas and your open mind in in the matter um i would just like to uh point out that uh, this would be amazing and uh, um it is essential for alpha global to link this also to the reputation so so i believe that this can all be done contingent to uh, restoring the reputation of the uh, of the company and uh, 
we heard before that you have some ideas in the matter. So, Georgie, do you want to hear? Yes, of course. And I think that restoring the reputation and also working on some uh, ideas together with the reputation can lead also uh, our talk to what you said before about the fact that you have some great ideas also for future collabor collaboration. Because I think that in our mind the reputation is quite linked to the last point of future co collaboration. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you so much for that interest in the offer. We're so happy that the tone of this discussion is so collaborative and we're making so much headway. It's quite exciting to be here today, frankly. So as we've jumped up to the possibly the last agenda, I would say, to touch today, and that's reputation, perhaps the most crucial, say the best for the last, I guess. But no, yes, reputation. Well, we are in a little bit of a pickle here because, well, the like I said before, uh, the impact of the game was intended to be widespread and, well, the negative criticisms are also in the general media and it's quite a big problem to tackle. But so far, thank you so much for not dragging our name. Uh, we understand that you bore the brunt and you mentioned this in the opening statement and and to me that just sh shows the maturity of an established organization you know to willing to take own up to your mistakes not pinning the blame elsewhere that's we really thank you for that but like i said your reputation is my reputation and, and we're in this together so i am willing to do what it takes to join hands and perhaps you know fix the way our reputation should be fixed now i understand that our market is sort of we have our individual customers and our individual players and we also have our schools you know where the game is played and because of that we do have a wide pool that we can possibly play around with um initially i think because we have an update ready and and we can roll it out in no time after of course you know the testing is done i think the first thing we should be doing is a joint press release to state whether and how this problem is fixed and how that was a temporary glitch keeps happening in the tech world and you know we can just get it out of the way that this was a one-off thing and this was just teething problems and what do you think about that i really appreciate your offer <coughs> and you use the word you use the sentence our success is your success the feeling is mutual. It was also the spirit uh, with which we came into this negotiation today. And uh, I agree that a joint, stand, uh, a joint statement to the press would be helpful to restore the reputation. And probably uh, in that way we can, show, uh, we can show the public that we put our, uh, our efforts together in order to solve uh, an issue that uh, affected the customers as well. Uh, probably what we would need maybe in this uh, uh, joint, uh, acknowledgement, in, in a joint acknowledgement would be probably uh, an acknowledgement of the ministry as well. So uh, probably stating that the ministry had nothing to do with the previous issue uh, arose with the software and I believe this probably uh, is not this is not uh, strictly linked uh, to you but it would be for us uh, not to um, in order to preserve the reputation with the ministry itself so I completely hear you and I understand that your relationship with the ministry is quite crucial to you they've invested one third of the capital so well they have to have a say and I'm completely agreeable to that however there's one little concern that you know that sort of echoes the eth ethos of my startup is that we never do anything without an intent without a message without some positive message going out and for us shaping that narrative would be very very crucial so i would like to hear your thoughts on what is the message that you would try to send across? I'm, I'm happy to include the ministry in that joint press release, but I would want to understand the tone of what we would like to say through that from your mouth. So in my perspective, and also the perspective of my team when we discuss about it, uh, the joint <coughs> statement would have been paired together with probably a launch of a social com media campaign, for example. A social, uh, and since uh, we understand that uh, fighting climate change is an issue that 
concerns us both. We were thinking of something that would that could probably would be appealing to the young to, to young people. I don't know. We thought about the using of social medias. Um, trends are quite popular right now, so using hashtags or using some special words that would that would convey a message to um, kids uh, and young people uh, would be favorable and could have a, a nice impact. What do you think about it? Well, that's very exciting. I'm, I'm always on social media, so that's that sounds fun to me. Perhaps we could use some filters as well. Some, Of course. Yes. And I think, uh, Arjun, what are your thoughts on this great idea? Um, as an avid player, I'm already looking forward <laughs> to the upcoming updates. And I'm just sort of free body here. This might exceed the scope of the current table, but since your concerns are not only the users and the players, but also the ministry, one thing that bureaucracy loves is, other than free publicity, is more <laughs> bureaucracy. So maybe if we can, um, Vaseland and Kunoland can come together and it can maybe even sh be shown as an international endeavor, furthering climate, uh, furthering a fight, the fight against climate change and making the world greener. I believe that might also be hand in hand with the social media message. That sounds good, I think, to me as well. And uh, I think that a lot has been said about reputation. Uh, so uh, I would kindly ask the help of the mediator to sum up just for both sides until now, just to have a clear mm -hmm. picture. I will have a go at doing that. So <laughs> Thank you. I've got quite a list here, so I think you're inviting me to go back to the beginning in terms of the proposals that you've made together. Yeah, you want me to sweep them all in? Um, sorry, can you repeat it? You would like me to group all of the proposals yes, thank and you. talk to you yeah, about thank all you. of them. That okay. would be useful. Thank you so much. All right. So this is in the order in which they evolved in the conversation. So um, the first issue that you went to um, in, in terms of an agreement for a way forward was in relation to the heading of future collaboration. Uh, and you talked about um, putting your heads together for, uh, to um, collaborate in terms of security and establishing um, a process that would mean that there was going to be no more hacking um, and um, that your IT departments might collaborate to do that. So that was the first thing, so a, a focus on security together. Um, this, and also in relation to future collaboration, at that you also talked about the United World Convention um, and making some additions to the game. Um, which were specific to energy usage um, and kind of, I think your words were a sci-fi <laughs> thing. So they were the um, two of the things that you addressed in relation to future collaboration together. Then there was quite an extensive um, commitments around solution. Um, there's going to be on the 15th of February, Valentine's Day, um, a fix rolled out for one, I'm not very technical, so bear with me, but a fix is going, a solution is going to be rolled out, and that is one that is going to be targeting facial recognition and security, and you have agreed that there will be a trial period, and that was one of the special things to address concerns that you might have had about guaranteeing performance going forward. Mm -hmm. um, and the thing that hasn't been agreed is actually, because you can't at this point, um, agree the cost of that fix. However, you have estimated that there will be um, a sense of the cost, a quote or, yeah. or something, um, coming soon. Yeah. But I did hear that there was a commitment made, and I just want to check that that was confirmed, that the cost would be shared. Yes, between. we're yes. willing to do that. Okay, all right, good. That, I just want to check that I've got that properly. All right, so that was in relation to um, the solution. So then in relation to financials, another um, agenda item, you talked about um, the $70,000 instalment being paid in, this, in the following way. $35,000 would be paid up front, uh, and the rest would be paid after the trial, the completion of the trial period, or the expiration of the trial period in relation to the bug fix. Is that right? Yes. So, yes. Okay. so that's that. And then in relation to financials, you have talked, uh, sorry, re reputation, um, you, you have talked about um, the fact that your reputation, whatever you do, has to target two markets, both individuals and schools. Um, so you said you think you should do a joint press, uh, joint press release 
um, that was uh, designed to sort of normalise briefly what had happened um, and one that um, might address the fact that this was a one-off teething problem that it, you'd overcome um, and most definitely that the ministry was not involved um, in any way um, and that the tone, the general tone of this press release and, and um, would be one of um, pursuing sustainable and um, fighting climate, climate change themes um, and that you would undertake some sort of, I think you said, a Facebook campaign that would target um, and engage young people. Um, and then I think you quickly said a whole lot of apps and things that <laughs> were completely <laughs> lost on the mediator. Yeah. Uh, so I will have to get you to say what they were. Can you do that? Yeah, sure. It was basically a social media campaign. Yes. We can choose in the future, the probably in next meeting, the social media that we're going to use and hear also from our marketing team, if it's fine for you. Yes, in fact, we can sit and come up with more you know, creative buzzwords and filters exactly. and ideas. I think we can do that later. Exactly. Thank you, Mediator, for this uh, uh, nice sum up of what happened here. And I also, um, your summary has also made me think about the fact that uh, you talked about uh, the competition before, yes. which is also a great interest of ours. Yes. And so we wanted to understand what is uh, your idea about it, because thank you. Because our interest would be to participate in, in it uh, later on this year. So I did mention it, but I feel like Arjun will probably be more precise and lawyerly than techy. So why don't you? <laughs> Very briefly, uh, as far as I've understood, it would help make not only not only save more energy when playing the game, it would also allow the users to track all the energy that, that they've used so far, thus collaborating the promotion of making the earth greener better. Um, of course, this is what the update is intended to roll out. However, if you could tell us more about the competition itself, what are the specifications you're looking for and what exactly you would want to submit, maybe we can collaborate and uh, further fine tune the updates and changes to help you stand a better chance at the competition. Thank you. So, um, what we know at this, at this moment is that we want to participate, hopefully, with the game we created together. So, this is an exciting news. And uh, seeing that we could probably fix it uh, before the 15th of February, I think that, uh, the, uh, that this will be in time for the competition itself, uh, which with, uh, of which we, don't, we do not have the specific date at this moment. But I feel that probably in the next weeks it's going to come out, so we're gonna, we can um, email each other and have a further conversation about it. Well, just a small clarification, sure. because I feel like it got lost somewhere. The update that we're rolling on the 15th is different from this enhancement that we have in the works. This enhancement is not the regular update. This is something that the creative set of engineers have come up with. They were just brainstorming and they decided that this could be something that we can do. And perhaps you we were doing this way before this bug even came into the picture. So this is not a part of the regular feature, but if you wish for it, we can work on this. Perhaps that clears it up? Yeah, I, I believe the reason that Amari is stressing on this is because this is something that a lot of manpower and research has gone into and this is something that will of course require a certain amount of costs to come into the company. That is why this is something that we wish to flag out. But again, like I said, costs are not the elephant in the room. Us, our relationship is. so. That's just the lawyer talking here. <laughs> in fact, if we're getting started this early in the year for the competition, yeah. I'm quite confident we'll win and I also hope we'll be invited for the celebratory drinks afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so at this point, I think that uh, this is exciting news. Uh, I wish to go back to those money you have talked about, but maybe since the time is running up, we could uh, mm, decide for an agenda to discuss about uh, in the next meeting if you agree with it. I think that would be a great idea. Off the top of my head, firstly, we would have to discuss the costs, which we have sort of left right now because, like I said, I'm not really sure and our IT departments would have to collaborate on that. Secondly, we can speak about the future collaboration and the various 
ideas that we have for you you know work out the details of the social media campaign sit and write down the press release what else arjun what else can we talk about so briefly that was costs and future collaboration yes. i guess in future collaboration specifically we can discuss the modifications that we can possibly do to make the game even more eco friendly I, uh, what do you think, Elisa? I think uh, that's a good start, and uh, um, to make sure uh, that I'm advocating for George's interest, that is my role today here. Uh, within the cost, uh, it will be crucial in the next meeting to talk about uh, these refunds uh, that customers are asking for, and probably also a little bit about the compensation that I mentioned at the very beginning. But it is something that we can leave uh, for this eventual next meeting. Um, I'm happy that today, uh, talking and having this conversation with your company, uh, a future collaboration was brought up. I think that this satisfies also George's interests here. And uh, um, up of my head, I would also think that uh, a good point uh, to of discussion in the next meeting could be uh, this competition, uh, to know more about the proposal, this announcement, as you said, that is on the table, uh, the related costs, and uh, yeah, I think that's great. Maybe the mediator can help us clarify a little, okay. a little clearer this future agenda. Okay, so in relation to the future agenda, um, I just want to ask this. This, I heard that time was really important earlier today. Mm -hmm. So when do you want to agree um, to have this next? meeting, when will you be ready? When will you have the data, the information that you need in relation to cost? When will you practically be able to have this conversation? I think as soon as our IT teams are able to meet and discuss, we're ready on our side. What about you? Exactly. As soon as also you have the opportunity to talk with your team for yes. the releasing of the 15, that would work for us. Yes. So as Maybe. soon as possible should work. I think we should have an email exchange right after this meeting and decide a date. Okay. So uh, subject to your availability, of course, Catherine. Oh, well, thank you. That's <laughs> nice to know. Um, so, uh, so the interesting. Uh, so there's going to be a commitment that you will come back to uh, have a further meeting, um, and that will be agreed by way of email between you for it to happen as soon as possible. I'm assuming after the bug fix on the 15th of February. Um, and in that discussion, you will talk about costs. Um, your IT departments will have in the meantime got together um, to talk about that. So that's something I suppose that you're saying you need to organise as well um, prior to the meeting. Um, you also talked about in that meeting that you will want to table um, the complaints that you've been receiving and the impact of those complaints on, on, mm. on your profit. Exactly. Um, um, and also you also used the word compensation. You said you were still looking to understand that you might receive some Acknowledgement of the, of the loss that you have exactly. suffered in relation to that. So those things are going to be parked off um, into the next meeting, um, and also that you will be discussing the competition um, and your participation in that, um, and that will I think include the new fixed solution um, and some potentially some of the new enhancements in relation to I think it was energy usage. Yes. Just as a clarification, the fixed solution is separate. We are definitely rolling that out by the fifteenth. Yes. And yes. The yes. <coughs> yes. Sorry. You're right. Well done. Sorry, but that's going to be ready for the comp. Yes, for the competition. You're of right. course. So yeah. that's a fait accompli by the competition. Yeah. Yeah. But perhaps this enhancement will be on board by then. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for that okay. correction. Is All right. There, is there anything else you would like to discuss, Georgie, in the next meeting, or does it cover you? I think it covers all. Uh, probably we can consider an NDA going on for what concerns the reputation, in order not to disclose like technicalities that have been have been arose during uh, this relationship because of the servers and what happened with the process mm -hmm. of the um, creation of the software, but. Apart from that, I think that I think that's a good thought would. from a CEO, mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> this is something that uh, Arjan and I can work on. What, what, what do you think? What we you we think? can also think. Yeah. All of that sounds brilliant, and I think that is something that we'd want to get to right off the bat after this. Okay. Um, just thank you very much. Thank you very much, Catherine, for being a brilliant mediator and allowing us to get through this mediation session um, uh, very well. And of course, you as well. Thank you, Georgie, for ensuring that we were able to find at least the beginning of solutions going forward. 
and i'll just leave the table to amari now if she wants to say anything well i'm very very happy with the headway that we've made today i'm so happy that we're going with a collaborative mindset and we've figured out a bunch of solutions and we're looking towards a great future together and we're we're going to do great stuff in this in this field and thank you so much for coming here and you know appreciating our request and making the most out of it and i'm really glad we could be here thank you so much catherine it's been my pleasure i appreciate your uh, i appreciate your feelings and those are mutual and i hope we can collaborate for people in the future thank you okay well, it looks like you have an agreement <laughs> and some next steps organized uh, and so I'm going to leave it to you. You're going to communicate with each other in yeah. relation to that next yes. meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We're going to thank you. It's changing. Yes. Thank you very much and congrats. It was a brilliant session. Now, in order for the judges to score, may I ask everyone to leave the room for 15 minutes? Thank you.